Dating has always been controversial in the K-pop industry, to the point that idols are heavily urged in hiding their romantic relationships, usually to appear as available as possible. In recent years, the reactions towards dating news have appeared to change, with fans and the public seemingly becoming more accepting. Sure, there were a few people that went crazy, but mostly people made jokes and were overall supportive. Unfortunately, it seems like crazy fans went back to their old ways once it was announced that Espa's Karina was dating actor Lee Jae-wook. On February 27th, Dispatch released an exclusive report revealing that Karina was dating the well-known actor Lee Jae-wook. According to the report, they first met at the Prada fashion show in Milan, just a month prior, which is when their relationship also started. After that, they did their best to meet, although it was difficult due to their busy schedules. Since Karina is still living in Espa dorm, it was hard for them to meet up, but Karina would go to his neighborhood. The pictures that Dispatch had taken of her were actually captured near his house. An insider went as far as to say that it was love at first sight for the couple, and based on some videos released from the event, we can definitely see that. They interacted a lot as the show was going on and continued their conversation even after it ended. Jaywook was also extra careful to make Karina feel as comfortable as possible, seeing as they were the only two Korean celebrities in the front row. They also had a chance to talk at the menswear show, and Jaywook even apologized to Karina for having to leave earlier. But even with all these interactions, nobody thought that they would end up dating each other. Besides Karina being a relatively young idol, the couple had no previous rumors about them, so the announcement caught everyone off guard. Then the action started pouring in. At first, everyone was kind of confused on why Dispatch would release this news when it had barely been a month since they started dating. Even the responses from SM Entertainment and CJS implied that they were still technically getting to know each other, so it was weird that a media outlet would get themselves busy with a one-month relationship. But after netizens got done criticizing Dispatch, they started becoming very weird towards Karina. One day after the news was out, SM stocks fell by 3.47%. While we don't have concrete evidence linking it to the relationship, the decline occurred shortly after Dispatch's report, so it's not surprising that people connected the two. But then people started getting angry with Karina. There were boycotts, trucks, and even accusations of queer baiting. It was quickly spiraling out of control. A Chinese fan of hers, who claimed to have spent tens of thousands of dollars on merchandise, vowed to never purchase anything related to Karina ever again in light of her dating news, which netizens claim to understand. Apparently, according to these people, willingly spending money on an idol means that you have a say in their personal life too. Chinese fans in particular didn't shy away from showing their disapproval of the relationship as they sent trucks in front of SM's building. One of the trucks asked Karina if the love that fans gave her wasn't enough and accused her of betraying them. They also demanded an apology, threatening that they wouldn't purchase any albums or concert tickets in the future. The other truck stated that she had ruined her own career with this relationship, asking her if she was satisfied with all her hard work going down the drain. The reactions got even crazier though. Former Oh My Girl member Ginny also got got involved in the mess as she posted an Instagram story referencing the dating news and the commotion it caused. The caption on her story said, Karina, 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 Nanrina, which was supposed to mean something like there's an uproar, which is definitely something weird to post knowing that it can get you and the idol in question in trouble. Ginny herself was an idol and probably understands how much unnecessary backlash idols get, so for her to do this was unwarranted. She and Karina aren't even close enough for her to make jokes about the situation, so this was definitely strange. On top of that, there were even even rumors that Lee Jae-wook left an alleged girlfriend for Karina, which only fueled the hate against her. And if you think that international fans were acting more normal, think again. Some of them were actually mad at Karina for having a boyfriend, as they thought that she was a lesbian. They accused her of queer baiting, claiming she was acting gay just for attention. We don't even know where to start explaining just how insane it is to make assumptions about a stranger's sexuality based on basically nothing, and then get mad when these idols don't fit those assumptions. With everything that was happening, SM probably felt that they would be losing a lot of fans, fans that would otherwise spend a lot of money on the group, so Karina apologized. On March 5th, Karina posted an apology letter to her Instagram account, and while she didn't explicitly mention the issue, she expressed remorse for letting down her fans. She wrote, The reason that I'm writing this, even though I'm worried that I may be hurting you again, is because I want to sincerely convey how sorry I feel to the fans. In the end, she promised not to disappoint fans in the future and to show them a more hardworking, mature side. And if you thought that the dating caused an uproar, you would be surprised by the ruckus the apology itself caused. Most people felt bad that Karina had to apologize for something so normal. She was an adult, he was an adult, and the two were in a consensual relationship. It makes no sense for her to feel sorry about it just because the company felt like they would lose fans if she didn't issue an apology. The apology didn't make things easier or better for Karina, though. In fact, it only managed to blow things out of proportions and make the whole situation a hundred times worse. Her apology got the attention of non-K-pop fans and international media 
media outlets, and it ended on the front page of Reddit. A user posted her apology on the Face Palm subreddit, which has more than 8 million members. The post in question got 40,000 reactions and 3,000 comments, with most expressing shock at how harsh the industry and the fans were. The matter became much bigger after BBC, CNN, and Sky News wrote articles reporting on everything, and BBC News even aired a segment about it on the news, so you can definitely say that the situation got out of hand. A Reddit user even went on to say that the news had reached the Spanish media, explaining that their mother had heard about the issue from a local news outlet, and other users commented about how the situation was reported in their country. In a more normal world, the response and the criticism should have woken everyone up and made them realize just how toxic and inhumane they were being to someone whose only crime was to date someone. But instead, Korean netizens went on to blame Karina for embarrassing their country in front of the whole world. Most of them put blame on her for posting the apology in the first place, with a netizen commenting, I cannot understand why Karina dealt with it that way. Posting an official apology like that would just make her fans look like fools. Why humiliate your fans like that? While calling her a national embarrassment is too much, the apology clearly didn't help anything, and the apparent reason is that by doing this, Karina gave the haters full control over the situation and lost a lot of respect in the eyes of the public. By posting an apology, she validated the feelings of all the people that went crazy when the dating news dropped as saying sorry makes it seem like she really did something wrong. It's only going to reassure these fans that their actions and protests are normal. If she caves into every complaint and threat, what are fans going to make her apologize for next? We can't even imagine what the situation will look like if the couple breaks up, but we guess that netizens are going to accuse her of embarrassing them for a relationship that didn't last. What Karina should have done instead was write a letter acknowledging the people who have shown her support amid the controversy. On the other hand, it's insane of netizens to act like Karina wasn't in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. If she didn't apologize, they would be saying she's shameless and that she doesn't care for her fans. This is best proven by the way they dragged Jenny into someone else's dating news, saying that she was irresponsible because she never apologized for being involved in dating rumors. But let's put ourselves in Karina's shoes for a moment. She was dating this guy for a month before she was stalked by a media outlet and had her personal life broadcasted for everyone to see. Then, her fans, who are supposed to stand by her, went on to act like the victims in the situation and make threats and random accusations. The most possible explanation for the whole mess is that she was made to post the apology by SM. The company doesn't have the best history of properly handling scandals, so it would make sense for them to ask Karina to apologize for this just so they can avoid backlash and put out the fire. But what seems to have happened is that SM miscalculated and forgot how freaking global K-pop got and that this type of behavior will no longer be tolerated whether it is by the majority of fans or foreign media outlets. The company has been long called out for their outdated practices on dating, so to change things around, they should have really defended Karina against all the hate and take some inspiration from Lee J. Wook's agency that took legal action against all the malicious rumors. All in all, we hope that Karina has a good support system around her because the way that normal news about her life has been handled by everyone is insane on all levels.